Crayon Radio. I'm John. And I'm Ken. And today we have... Match 2. Round 1, Match 2 of the 2022 This Is Madness <laughs> Tournament. It's a lot of twos, John. It, there really is. <laughs> it's crazy! So we're going to be battling with the number 8 and number 9 seeds uh, in this particular matchup. Today I am flying an Admiral Ozzel fleet uh, sent to us by iScout26. And I'm flying an almost mere fleet of Birdie Wooster with the commander tag. And what's interesting is I think we both have Demolisher, both have Aiden, um, there's a couple other similarities between these fleets too. Yeah, so if you look at it, like the fact that they're 8 and 9, mm -hmm. it kind of makes sense because they're practically the same fleet. Right. Big shout out to everyone that submitted one of the fleets on our Discord channel. These are two of them. Uh, so thanks so much for submitting uh, these two fleets. We're looking forward to getting them on the table. Uh, and I think with that, let's just get right to the fleets and then to the action. Coming in at 298 points, Ice Scout brings us an Admiral Ozzel list. Ozzel is on board a Gladiator 1 Star Destroyer with Aiden Versio, Ordnance Experts, and Assault Proton Torpedoes. There is a second Gladiator 1 Class Star Destroyer, also with Ordnance Experts, Assault Proton Torpedoes, and the Demolisher title. Rounding out combat ships is an Arkitans Class Light Cruiser with Captain Nita and Turbo Laser Reroute Circuits. For squadrons, we have Tel Travura and three Fire Spray 31 fighters. This list is brought to you by Bertie. It is a general tag list. General tag is sitting on an Architens light cruiser with expert shield tech, reinforced blast doors, and turbo laser reroute circuits. The second ship is a Gladiator 1 with Admiral Ozzel, Ordnance Experts, External Racks, and the Demolisher title. We have an additional Architens light cruiser with Hondo Anaka, Reinforced Blast Doors, and Turbo Laser Reroute Circuits. The final ship is a Raider 1 with Iden Versio, the um, discardable Darth Vader, external racks, and the Corvus title. So I won the bid by one. It seems to be a theme in This Is Madness. Uh, we have uh, these three objectives because I decided to go first. Ion Storm, Rift Ambush, and Volatile Deposits. I am choosing Ion Storm because Volatile Deposits, I have no blue dice. Rift Ambush is not going to allow Demolisher to do what I want it to do. So there we go, Ion Storm. With deployment, I have Ozzel on the, well, he was in the center, now he's on the right flank, along with Demo and uh, Nita's Architans over in the side here. Everyone currently moving at speed too. Fire sprays and Tel Travura uh, flanking the, the flagship. Uh, let's see how this goes. Nita switched out the and contain? Nita will switch out uh, the contain uh, for the evade at the beginning of turn one. Okay, 
And here's my fleet. You have a flagship tag, the other Argaton demo, and Corvus who redeployed. Beginning of turn one, so I know Nita gets swapped out as token. John, do you have anything that happens? Yes, at the start of t the first round, my Ozzel, the true Ozzel, <laughs> is going to be uh, doing what he does best, which is going too fast and moving speed one forward. Um, right to there. Zoom. So let's go ahead and start off on uh, my turn then with my Ozzel, who's going to show nav, take a token, and then using Ozzel, jump up to speed three. I believe I'm going to be nowhere near an obstacle. Okay, you're closer than I thought. Uh, but I need to be at Distance range one. one. I think I'm in two. You are in yeah, two. Yeah, I am in two. So I gain an objective token. Because, you know, we want objective tokens, right? Yes. That's good to collect <laughs> objective tokens. I'm going to go with Iden. She's revealing a squadron. We're going to take it as a token. I have no clue why I would do such a thing, but we shall see. And then we're going speed two. I think I'm super maneuverable, right? Yeah. We jut all the way out to here. And I am definitely within two of multiple, so I get no token. Mm -hmm. so I think my next ship's going to be Demolisher. Demolisher shows Nav, taking that as a token. And then I also, with Ozzel, am jumping up to speed three. White going to be able to make it. Jump over my fighters. Are we in combat range? Oh, we definitely we are. are. Check that out, John. So I'm going to hurl two red dice at the front of that raider. For two hits. I will cancel one. Right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Blammo. We're going to go then with, I want to say tag. Tag's doing a nav, and we're going to take it as the dial, and I'm going to see what I want to do. I could do something like this if I wanted to. And I think that might be what I want to. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Speed three, baby. Let's get this done. Actually, it's in range. Cool. Wow. <laughs> like I planned it. Uh, you did. You know what? I <laughs> I'm looking at range, Sean. I forgot, in Ozzel fashion, to put an objective token on that Gladiator. Was it because you uh, came out of hyperspace? Too I fast? came out of hyperspace. <laughs> not quite close enough to that. <laughs> All right, so my final ship is Nita in his uh, Arkitans. We're going to also take that as a... I ran out of tokens I left outside. Uh, as a nav token. Oh, nav token. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, I could put a raid on there if you'd like, John. But, yes. you know, I, it's, I'm going to pass. Uh, jump up to speed three with Ozzel. And that is not distance one, so I now have objective tokens all the way around. Okay, so uh, we're going to go with this ship that I'm kind of concerned about. We got a navigate, we're going to use it as a dial, and then we're going to figure out where we're going. 
because there is nowhere good to go because of asteroids. Let's see what three looks like. Do I just take an asteroid? I think not. I could do a weird inside moon. That's also going to be an asteroid. That should not be an asteroid. So we're going to just use that extra click and then stay at speed two. Go to there. Kind of puts it out of position for one turn, but I think I'm going to like the position afterwards. <clears throat> Demo is going to go next. And we're revealing a navigate. And I think, I think we take it. As a dial, reduce to speed of one. And do this. Then it's to you. Oh, fighters. So fighters. Let's start getting these fire sprays. Man, these things move slow. Yes, they do. <laughs> If I'm not telegraphing my movements here towards uh, your raider, I don't know what is. All of them are rogue, which is great when I'm dealing with, you know. Uh, you have black, black flack. Double black. You are definitely in it. Okay. I am good there. Okay, that's the end of that round. On to the next. Turn two. Actually, the measure. Yeah, so let's go ahead and activate Hazel. Engineering, I'm going to go ahead and use it because I believe I can knock out this token now, right? Correct. So there goes the objective token off that ship. Uh, we have a long range shot from my front to the front of the Raider. Two red dice. Four, one jumps out. That has to get in there, right? Yep. Okay, you get one more try. One more and then you forfeit it. Okay, uh, you've got... I evaded, it doesn't matter. I think what I'm going to do here... ...is move straight forward. I'm going to overlap. Yeah. <clears throat> but I will now be within range one of at least one of these guys. We are just outside. Just out of close range? Good. I think we're going to go with this guy. He's got a navigate. We're going to use it as a dial. And I don't think I have any shots, so we're going to see if I can avoid an asteroid. And that would put me right into a debris field. I think this should avoid it, so we're going to do that. We're going to just go for it. Good. And we're good. That's it. Going to activate Demolisher. Good. Engineering. Knock this out. 
I'm going to take my shot into the front of the Raider again. See if I can get the dice into the tray. Four, block your good evade, take a crit. Discard it. Okay. And I'm currently at speed three. close range. You definitely do. Okay, so now with demo taking that shot, so... But I think also just for... Where's the laser? Just for note, though, you also are. Ooh. Well, yep. you only get one shot, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so against the Raider. And we are Definitely going to ordinance expert these. Four, two, four. Let's hit six total, and I'm pretty sure you know I'm going to be using. I discard that to get rid of one of those. Okay. And then I brace it to two. Okay, and assault proton torpedoes. It says that uh, while attacking squadrons, you have to remove a dice. And then I take one, and then I take another one. We activate Darth Vader, or Iden Versio on the ship. We're revealing a navigate. We're going to use it as a dial. We're going to discard this. And when you reveal a command, you may discard a concentrate, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. It's discarded, and you can also discard your ordinance experts. Because it would actually be a benefit to you as of right now to yeah. discard demo. And assault photon, now you're going to have a hard time doing it. So we're going to shoot. Where's the lasers? into your side with uh, Aiden. She is two blues and two blacks, and we're just gonna go for it. Cool. Wow. We're gonna ordinance, ex not ordinance experts, external racks in because I'm gonna die after this. Probably. I don't know. It, it is what it is. Um, we're going to block your... What range are we? Definitely close. Close. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. That's juicy. We're going to block your... Redirect and you can take uh, five. Reroll the dub. Four. Cool. That's better than I thought it was going to be. Mm. Uh, and you're hitting my side, right? Correct. All right. I'm going to have to brace it. There goes. The Thank you, Aiden. Oh, no. We both take a hull damage. <laughs> As if I didn't know that was coming, right? Yeah. Back to you. Well, I only have one ship left. That's the Arkitans with Nita. Uh, engineering will use that to knock that out. So I don't think you've done any damage to it yet. Got some options here. 
Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go. That looks to be a medium range shot. It is. Can I go a laser, please? Let's see if I got you doubled. I don't think I do. You do. Just. All right. So uh, we're gonna go my front to your side. So it's one red for a hit. Let's TRC here, make that into a double. Okay, you can uh, re-roll it. Nothing, okay. Next shot, three, this is my side to your side. Direct two to the rear, take one to the side. And we have to figure out where you're going to. Okay, using Ozel and spending the token, I drop down to speed one. This guy, who's gonna long range obstructed shot into your side. Okay. So we're gonna use the navigate long range obstructed into the side of demo with uh, two dice. And we will TRC this to four damage. We will redirect. The ship? Ah, sorry. They look the same. Except this one's about to blow up. Yeah, well, you know, details. And then two. Okay. There's really no reason to shoot. Because we'll just evade with the other one, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to speed three. We're going to drop to speed two. I have a nav. So I can do No, we're not gonna just drop speed, we're gonna just keep cursing. Oh, your demo. It is my demo's turn. We got to navigate. We're going to use it as a dial. And we're going to start off by shooting the side into your side. Is that what I want to do? Yes. Side into your side. That is four black dice. Right at you. You have three health left. Two shields that you can redirect it to, and a brace. And I have that, please. And so I would like to get. I don't have anything fancy. So we're going to immediately external racks into this. Mm -hmm. And you can have all of that. So that is eight total damage currently. All right, well, clearly we're going to have you re-roll that one of those. Okay, that works. Six. We will brace that down to th three. And then I have to redirect that final one to the rear. So this comes down to what the crit is because I'm taking two now, right? Correct. All right, so the crit is coolant discharge. Only one tack you perform each round can target a ship. Cool. Then I'm going, should be going speed one. I have a nav and uh, 
Sorry, moving all around. Figure out what my movement actually is. You want me to mark this? No. So I have I have to decide on if I'm going to ram you or what I'm doing. Because I can easily ram you. Mm -hmm. And if I do it like that, then I ram into my own ship and stay where I'm at. Would you agree with that? If you're doing a... Uh, if I'm doing that, I'm ramming my own ship. Yeah, you're going to hit your own ship. Yes, we do that. Okay. And then we uh, come back right to where we were, because we're still close range, and I shoot mm -hmm. you again. Okay. So... So, your demo and... That Arcaton. Uh, Hondo take damage. And then I shoot you with a black and two reds. Uh, two blacks. Two blacks and two reds, two and I need a hit. You need a single hit. And I have zero defense tokens. So let's see if you come up with... You're done. Look at that. You got hits. Uh, for those interested, it's a structural damage, because of course. And uh, demo's gone. Okay. Well, my demo's gone. The fake demo. And I'm going now speed two. I'm out of ships. You're out of ships. I'm out of ships as well. So now I get to do fun attacks. So let's start. Fire spray is moving three. Do I have anything? I have to get up there. Yes. So this fire spray moves up. Attack two blue dice. I need what? One hit? Yeah. For hit crit because it's bomber. Yep, I die. I cancel the crit so I don't have to reveal anything. Okay. Or actually, I don't do anything. I take the crit, which is damage armor, and then I take the extra card. Okay. And then your deck, yo. Let's see. Yeah, really. What else can I hit? Go over here. So we will attack this Architons. That's actually, I believe, your tag. It is. So I'm going to shoot him. Two blues. For block your evade, take crit. I cancel it out with Expert Shield Text. Cool. Let's try that again. Just make it. I'm just out. I think I'm just out. Yep. Cool. All right, which means it's up to Tell to do something. He can. You know what? I'm going to have him go slightly different direction. So you only have. Do you have expert shield text on both? Nope. Just the one. All right. I'm going to fire into the side of the other guy. That's only one. So against Hondo. And non bomber. Uh, one hit. What turn is this? Two. Engagement happened way faster than I thought, so we're just going to take it. Okay. And that's going to be the end of that round. Yes. Turn three. So um, I guess I gotta go first. I'm gonna start with the light cruiser that Nita's on because that looks to be the one most in trouble. We have a concentrate fire. We're going to use it as the dial. And I believe I've got a shot from my side into the side of your light cruiser. So we are gonna start with that. Three reds. I do have TRCs. And you know what I'm going to do is spend that to make it into a crit. Five. Um, can we roll a double? Do an accuracy so that doesn't do any. And then we re. 
put things everywhere. And then I uh, take a crit. Crit is shield failure. So it will leave me with one shield over here. That's it. Okay, and then uh, for my second shot, uh, I'm gonna go out the end. Forgot to use my confire dial on that shot. I'm gonna go right backwards. I'm gonna shoot at your left side on tag. I'm gonna move this over here so I remember to use it. And that's a red and a black. So let's go ahead and confire in a black die. Four, two hits. We will redirect by reducing it to by one and then just sticking it. Okay. And using Ozzel, we're going to jump to speed two. going to be revealing a uh, navigate we will be using it and then we're going to be shooting into the back of the architect with three reds for All right medium range yep right back at you yo well, let's go ahead and re-roll one of those doubles. Do a blink. Then we'll redirect to my right side. So, one, two, there's three total, right? Yep. And then we'll flat both of those for fun. The uh, one right in front of me, mm -hmm. nothing. And then the one farther away, for one. I get Ozzel next. Ozzel has squadron. Gonna take that as a token in case I decide I want to use Aiden. I don't think I have any shots. Nope. Maybe the rear. I get a rear shot. Okay. So I guess I'll take it against the side there, one red. You can... Expert shield text it away. Yep. And oh, hold on. This is turn... Turn three. We're at long range? Correct. I discard to uh, cancel it. Okay. And I get to move. Oh, also I get a token, but... Yeah, you'll write on that, okay? Okay, we will ozzel the speed three. Side turn. 
I'm still at distance one of that aspen. But I believe it's here you want out. Yes, it is. Demo into your rear. At, uh, let me grab the right ship. At medium range. Two reds. And you're showing up. Oh, I'm nap. showing a nap. For hit. That's way better than I thought it was going to do. Wow. Um, medium, baby. I'm going to redirect. And then I have to move. I got a nav. I can go speed three, which is probably what I'm going to do. Just need to figure out where I'm going to be able to land it. And uh, that seems, I think, pretty good. Yeah, we do that. Good boy, I'm. And then we shoot into your uh, rear with my side. Yep. With demo. And then we're going to re-roll both of these with Ordnance Experts. Because, <laughs> why no, not? Yeah. For it's the same thing as it was, because dice are never on my side. Take three. I'm, uh, I'm just going to take the three, because I do not want to risk... Having me re-roll. Yeah, because that, that would be the kiss of death, because you'd hit the, the hit crit. Yep. I guess it's survive it, but Sadly, why risk it? you are just out of range, otherwise I would be shooting you. But I do think I have this shot now, which might as well take. Yeah. You miss all shots you don't take. And then that is it. Okay, so uh, three reds. Into your side. Block your evade. Take two. I still have three shields on the front. You do. Yeah, that's your last ship, correct? It is, so brace it. So brace it to one and move one to the front. Okay, so now I'm going to speed two. Oh, also, I have a, an app. So. I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to move. I think no matter what I do, I'm going to take that debris field, which is going to be horrendous. There's no way I can avoid that debris field. So we're going to do this. I'm going to ram you, fall back, and then I think I just explode. Or I just go speed one. I go speed one. Go speed one, you're only take two gamer shields left? No. Oh, but I you have one left. You have one left? You got one left, yeah. So I survive on one. Yeah, we do that. So you take a damage, I take a damage, I take two going through the hall zone that hurts me. So I do that. I mean, you're going to die in a minute anyways, but maybe. That's, you have to attack my rear because both my dots are under, right. are over an obstacle, so. You only have one hall zone that you can physically attack. So that shield's gone, and I take two. Ugh, yep. Is that it for ships? Uh, yep. Well, let's start making these uh, squadron attacks. So... In the interests of giving myself space, Teltrover is just going to move over to the side and fire into your rear. So that's one blue die. For a hit. Discard to re-roll. For a crit, he's not bomber, so nothing. This fire spray. Two blues. For two hits, their crits, he's bomber. I contain it. 
Uh, and then for giggles, we'll get behind on your demo. For block your evade, take one. Okay, uh, redirect it to the side closest to you. Turn four, uh, I have to go with the Nita Cruiser first. Have a confire, we're going to use that as the dial because you know that's going to be useful for me later. Let's go ahead and make my shot. Um, I think I only have the one out my rear into the side of your demo. So there we go. And let's confire in a black one. No, let's cut fire in the red one. And then I will TRC that into a double. Okay, just pick it up and re-roll it. To crit. So we brace it to two. And we're going to redirect both of those to the front. Okay. Oh, also at the beginning of the turn, because it's turn oh, four, right. uh, Sorry. Tag gets his uh, evade back. Awesome. Cool. Uh, then I'm going to move because I have no other shots, I'm going to very likely jump up to speed three here. Yeah, so using Ozzel to jump to three. Look good. Sure. Fire ship. Nav, we're going to use it, we're going to go speed 3, and we're going to do that because I don't think I have anything in range. Like so. That brings me to Ozzel. Uh, Confire. Nothing. And I don't have a single shot, so I'm... Just in the off-the-wall shot, it might matter. It probably won't get rid of the squadron. Plop that in. Let's see. Can I do anything at speed three? Maybe fly off the board. So I think, <laughs> I think with Ozzel, we're going to drop to speed two. Demo, now, no shots on the first, and then I need to see if I can get a demo shot off. Sadly, it pretty much has to be unobstructed for it to matter. I mean, I don't take it, and then we just see if we are close, it's going to be close, so... It's going to be just out, but it is what it is. So we're going to do that. And measure. Just out. So. Okay, so uh, I can shoot it right at you, but it doesn't matter. So. Okay, so I've just got squadrons left. I don't think. Can I reach anything? To the rear, two. So uh, two. Do 
I have anything on the rear? You have nothing on the rear, one here, two here. We spend the brace to make it one, and we just take it. This guy. Take a crit. Reroll it. For a hit. And I know I can't hit you with the other one. I'm not going to be able to hit you with Tell either, so let me just move these position for next turn. My demo, or my uh, gladiator, clearly has an objective token. Cool. On to turn five. Turn five, once again, starting with Nita's light cruiser. Nav, we're going to use that as the dial. We're going to probably stay at speed three because I have no shots. is where you may land. I think I have to take the risk. No. You don't want me to just disengage and let you fly off the table? Well, see, that's, that's exactly what I don't need, John, is because that's exactly what will happen. So I'm there. Okay, I'm just going to jump to it because it really is what determines this. Uh, we're going to use my ship and we're going to uh, demo into that. And I think I have a root side. I do. So we take that. Into yeah, you. I'm, I'm, I'm probably not long for this world, but yeah. then I'm not long for this world, so it's like, uh, Mutual destruction, yeah. Well, I mean, I can I can force reroll <laughs> to crit just to do it, but I'm dead anyways. Yeah, so it's another blank, but... All right. Well, he is clearly dead. shield on the front. So what the heck, uh, we'll do Ozzel next, Nav. I redirect it because I would like to stay alive and I go to there. Okay, and then... Drops to speed two and well, then it's you uh, with my fighters. 
fire sprays. I don't know if I can actually get to your rear or not. Yep. Two dice into the rear. Hit grit. Redirect both, discarding it. No shields. Out. He's in. Hit crit. I'm dead. Okay. We can call it there. I don't think so, because even if I put Tell over here. Okay, so we're back, and uh, honestly, that was decided when you got to pick first. Yeah, we were talking about that off camera, and the mirror match, uh, first of all, I have the, the, the real Ozl, not John, but um, <laughs> uh, it really came down to, you needed to attack first to really get Demolisher, be at its most effective. Um, yeah, a couple little changes with, I think, your fleet, we are talking about this, uh, I think would have really helped as well. Um but it is what it is. I needed like the extra point or even the roll off to try to get first player. It just needed first player and first player would have changed. Then I would be hitting you and killing you. You had been hitting me. I also think having Ozzel as my commander allowed me to get away for a turn or two with the Architons. Uh, so I was able to constantly adjust my speed. That allowed me to get that one good shot with Demolisher. I lost Demolisher way too early. I gave it to you. You did. Uh, and, and that was a mistake on my part. But I think having Ozzel as a commander worked out to my benefit. You didn't really get much benefit from Tag, I don't think. Uh, but I believe uh, that was his goal when he talked about it. He's like, he just wanted Tag to be in it to have a chance. <laughs> and I technically got a token back with him. You did. Didn't really matter because the ship wasn't attacked again. But uh, that's more use than I normally get out of Tag. So there's that. And uh, sadly... Um, the silly uh, um, reinforced blast door I still haven't been able to use. Like, I don't know if I've ever used it in the entire course of our channel, and I keep bringing it, and I'm like, this will be good. Uh, and then I just die by one health at the end before I can discard it every right. single time. It's, it's always one of those things where you, when you have the opportunity to use it, you're only getting rid of one damage. And then you figure, I'll use it the next uh, status phase, I think, is when you use it. Yeah. And I, I've done the same thing. I still would have died even if I used it and got rid of the one card. Correct. Yeah, because I got overkill because of Fighter Bomber Rogue. Mm -hmm. So um, this fleet has zero response for squadrons. Mm. So with squadrons, it just dies. Like you saw, squadrons killed Iden. Squadrons yep. killed Demo, and squadrons killed the other ship. 100%. Uh, those squadrons are the reason that uh, Ozzel won the game. Yeah. Uh, I, honestly, it comes down to the squadrons and Ozzel. Uh, Ozzel allowed me to position my ships either whether I'm retreating or trying to set up an attack, uh, and then those fighters really did 90% of the damage, maybe not 90, but 80% of did. the damage, uh, to take out ships. If nothing else, they were the killing blows, so VIPs go to squadrons. Because uh, Demo only had one damage done to it, I believe, by ships. I think so, yeah. Yeah, and then you just melted it with everything right. else. And, and then your other god rolls, because, you know, you shoot out of a rear of an architect and somehow get, like, five damage, so... It's so annoying. Red dice. When we team up, John, yeah, I'll roll all the red dice. And so. then I'll maneuver. <laughs> um, so, yeah, thank you very much for submitting your fleets. Sorry for complaining so much. It's just really annoying. Um, did we go over final score? We did go over final score. So let's go over final score real quickly. So uh, the Ozzel fleet uh, sent in by Ice Scout 26 wound up scoring 203 points. How did Birdie Wooster's tag fleet? 
137. So a difference of 66 points, scoring 7-4 on my side of the, the equation, uh, letting Ice Scout 26 move forward. Yeah. Also, the reason why I chase down the thing, because if I get a 6-5 six, six, or a 5-6 versus a 4-7, it doesn't matter. You have to win, so that's right. why Demo chased down so hard to kill that archetype. We were definitely playing aggressive today. Yeah. Big shout out to all of our Patreon members. Thank you very much for your support. If you're interested in joining the ranks, there's a link down below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check us out over on Discord just to talk to me and John the rest of the community about the tournament. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I'm John. And I'm Ken. And this is Madness.